A game comes out in 2019, and even after you beat it once, you still have to sit through unskippable cutscenes. Welcome to Borderlands 3. You put time and effort into building a class with gear and weapons that complement each other, only for another patch to nerf not just the weapons, but the abilities as well. Damn. But that's okay. Maybe you have decent gear stockpiled, you've saved it, and you know what currently useless items would suddenly become usable when the patch hits, the patch that makes all the stuff you were using now useless. Or maybe you're not clairvoyant and cannot see the future, and even if you could, you would barely have enough space in your inventory or your bank to be able to fit this shit. Fuck us, right? Whatever build that you find viable, whatever gear combination that works, you gotta ask yourself, how long until it gets nerfed? So maybe you get into feeling that Borderlands is like artificially trying to keep you on a hamster wheel, right? You know this is a PvE game gearbox? I shouldn't have to play offline exclusively on a weekly basis to farm gear that will probably only be viable until the next patch because you're forcing people to play basically just not with the things that they want to play with. So a 70% nerf on the hex, man, you might as well have just replaced it with a sticky note that said, don't use this. You know what I mean? What do you, what do you, what? It's a PVE game. And I hate to... I hate to come off as anything other than a fan. I'm playing your game, I'm enjoying your game, but I do feel like I'm forced to play a certain way now to not waste all of my time. Imagine if I didn't have the time to devote to farming. I would just be playing with things that suck and then by the end of the week they suck more. Here's what here's what I'm here, here's what I'm trying to get at here. I feel that some people unfortunately are waking up to the idea, they're realizing, that they don't have to keep playing. Not when you're bending them over and demanding their time like this. And in this gaming landscape, when you lose some players, you lose them for good. It's very difficult to get them back. And I, I hate to phrase it in the way of a threat, this is factual. It's very difficult to get some people who have stopped playing to come back, especially when the bad taste of their last experience serves as a reminder of why they left. Death Stranding, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, The Outer Worlds, Pokemon, these games are right on the horizon. And the last thing that I thought was that this game wouldn't stay in a playable state until we reach that, homie. You, this isn't even your first DLC. Do you get what I'm saying? And, and you're nerfing everything. I don't know what to say. But I, I, I hope you get that shit together, Gearbox. I really do. Because this isn't the way that I should be playing this game. But it seems like it's the only way. <laughs> oh, my man Hoarder Tank every damn day. I'm so done. Is this fun? You know? Y'all yeah, pulling a blizzard of your own. Oh, topical. <laughs> I'll see y'all later, man. Jesus.